Hey everyone, uh, Pop Daddy here, and I am coming to you on this gray and cold uh, January Sunday afternoon. And uh, I, since you guys have been real good, I uh, thought I'd give you a bonus episode. And um, in uh, last Friday's review of the, uh, what was it, the, I still have the bottle in here, because it's been my cup holder for a week, the uh, Sunkist Berry Lemonade. Um... I said I was looking for a new Mountain Dew flavor, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Lo and behold, I was able to find it. Actually, I found it yesterday at Weiss by my house, but uh, it wasn't in the impulse buy coolers up front. It was on like the shelves in the back, so it wasn't refrigerated, even though it was in the to-go bottle. So I don't know. Maybe Mountain Dew doesn't have doesn't went on their planogram or something like that. I don't know. But today at Family Dollar. The Mountain Dew God smiled upon me, and I was able to find Mountain Dew Spark. So uh, I'll just do a couple of rundowns real quick. Um, <clears throat> first thing you might remember in my the Berry Lemonade uh, review, I said it tasted like melted icy. So I left the bottle in my car overnight. I uh, came out the next morning. It was a cold morning, and so the uh, soda had turned to ice. Or should I say IC? Because I thought I'd give it a whirl. Lo and behold, it tasted just like IC. So, with that uh, amount of sugar, I think it's pretty safe to say that that Sun Kissed Berry Lemonade is nothing more than uh, icy or slurpy syrup. But, um, so yeah, give it a pass and don't give it to kids. Okay, so. Mountain Dew Spark. It is dew with a blast of raspberry lemonade and other natural flavors. Uh, this one comes in uh, dew and dew zero, which has zero calories and I think zero sugar also. And I should have opted for the uh, zero. <clears throat> uh, 77 grams of sugar, which is, according to this, 153% of uh, what your daily intake should be compared that is 10% more than the sun-kissed uh, berry lemonade man it's 290 calories you guys know I love you right I do this for you so you know okay there we go that sweet release okay oh yeah that's lemonade and it's got that raspberry lemon smell to it. It's it's kind of reminding me of the uh, one from last week, uh, last Friday. So here we go. Hmm. It's um it actually tastes a lot like that one, but um. Man, that's sweet. It's very, very sugary. It doesn't taste, doesn't have the uh, melted icy taste that the other one had. But maybe because the other one uh, was blue flavored and this one is not. And you know, your mind thinks that blue equals icy. But, um, man, it was, it's sweet. It is very, very sweet. Uh, I, uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, like diet do, but uh, health wise, I should have gone with the diet do because this one's going to put me in a diabetic coma. Man, um, it's okay, it's a lot better than their gingerbread snap uh, from back in November. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's not, it's not their best effort. Um, their best one, in my opinion, I think was either the LimeWire, uh, orange one, or the Midnight Grape one, which was purple. Those two were actually the two of my favorite ones, along with, uh, the Gamer Fuel from the Halo 3 release. But uh, I'd say give it a pass, uh, don't give it to kids. 
Um, if you're a Duke complete that has to try it, I'd say it's a one and done for me. I'm not going to buy another bottle of this. I shouldn't buy another bottle of this because the sugar content, holy crap. But, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the bonus thing. Hope you uh, all enjoyed the crib episode. Um, some new things in the future. New Pop-Tart flavors. I really don't want to be the Pop-Tart guy. Uh, Pop Daddy's not for Pop-Tarts. It's for pop culture. But, you know, you do what gets the views. So, do what gets the views. Uh, um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, we're at about 60 subscribers now. So, we're, we're chugging up that hill. And I'm going to keep going till I'm done. Um, like always, uh, you know, email me your suggestions of, uh, what I should review at TomPopDaddyCoombs at gmail.com. And, you know, be sure to, uh, give me a follow on Twitter at the Pop Daddy. And soon as, uh, I get to a hundred, I'll have that custom URL for you guys and I can start promoting that. It'll be way easier to, uh, get to my YouTube channel. But, uh, enjoy. If, or no, don't, no, don't enjoy, don't, enjoy the vids, don't enjoy the do, and I will see you guys on Friday with hopefully a new video, um, I'm currently, uh, wrapping up, um, my list of, my ranking of, uh, the films of 2021, I, we actually, I actually, me and Pop Mom actually watched one today called Advent Calendar, which was released last month, so, we're trying to catch up on, the I'm trying to catch up on, uh, December releases and whatnot, and, uh, I think I've got a pretty good, uh, listening to about 11 or 12 movies, I'm going to rank them, I hope you enjoy them, then after that, uh, you know, I'll, I'm also working on a state, uh, the, the, uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, 2021 ranking, because I do like my rankings, I love my lists, and, you know, stay tuned, uh, TomPopDaddyCoombs at gmail.com, and on Twitter at the Pop Daddy. see you guys later, peace.